On last week's show, Nebraska Part 1, our trip so far was everything we thought and wanted it to be, a true adventure. With everything you could think of as far as bad luck goes, from cold fronts, extreme weather changes, and at times, super heavy winds. And the fact that, well, for us never being here before, definitely made it a challenge. Now we would set all that we have learned about this place into motion, putting all of our knowledge that we have learned so far to work. And now it was just dialing it in for the next couple of days. Time. Not a question of if, but a question of when, where, and how. Keys Outdoors Musky Hunting Adventures is brought to you by Great Clips. Quick Trip in the Boat Center. Well, here it is, day four. We've got bluebird conditions, but we have wind again. And that's one of the things that plagues you out here in the plains. We are in Nebraska, and we've got heavy winds, bluebird. We know where there's a bunch of fish and we decided to sleep in a little bit this morning and get some breakfast so we're getting ready to get back out in the water and start the grind day four was the only day that we didn't get booted off the water due to bad weather. Instead, we were greeted with bluebird conditions, calm winds. Ryan, well he managed to get a nice muskie right away that morning, but we would lose two really nice fish at boat side. Total bummer. We literally have like no food, so that was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> the nearest town is 25 miles away. Exactly. This fishery is so healthy. I mean, we saw how many big walleyes, pike. Such Just got to get one to go. One tried to go. A couple tried to go. A couple today. tried to go. 30. <laughs> <laughs> We're actually at 32. 32? We're at 32. <sighs> I'm tired. Holy cow. We gave her hell today. It's time for bed. And uh, we just had a great meal. And now it's time to get to bed in New State, Nebraska. Man, they got it going on here, man. It's a up and coming fishery. Pretty cool, but it's time for bed. Day five, yesterday was brutal. Um, seen a lot of fish, we're seeing a ton of fish, but we um, lost three fish over 40 inches yesterday and that's a stinger for sure. And then this morning we're up, the sun is just about to break here. We got coffee going and it is cold. You can literally see your breath this morning. Um, Ryan's in the truck right now warming up. We started the truck up um, so he could get warm. And uh, coffee, once we get some coffee in us, I think we'll be just fine. But we're gonna head up river and we're gonna see if we can get one of these big girls. We know where there's a bunch of fish. Just gotta get them to eat, which we're doing, but they're short striking, early spring, and we're losing them and we just can't have that. So that's it, man. Oh, next update on the water, hopefully holding a fish. Fish! Fish! 
So it's game day and you need to get your hair in shape. Enter Great Clips. Our skilled stylists save your haircut details and clip notes for the look you love almost as much as your team. We got you and you got this. Great Clips. It's going to be great. TV is an all-new outdoor streaming channel on all Roku devices. And it's free. Loaded with lots of top-name outdoor fishing and hunting shows. Shows like Larry Smith Outdoors, Chase Nation, The Sportsman's Journal, Keys Outdoors Muskie Hunting Adventures, John Gillespie's Waters and Woods, just to name a few. KOTV is all about the adventure, all about the outdoors. And best of all, KOTV is free. Learn more, go to kotvchannel.com. So, you have a wedding, and you forgot to get a haircut. Just open the Great Clips online check-in app. In a few taps, you're in, out, and wow. Pretty much the best-looking guy at the party. We got you, and you got this. Great Clips. It's gonna be great. Fish! Fish! Oh, nice one. Ah. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. All right, yeah. First five minutes, man. Boom. Boom. All right. Fish number five. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Day five, fish five. We got moon set. We are on the moon set on the minute moon set. Full moon. Last night, fish five. Tearing them up on the chaos. Man, man. it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet, well let's get her undone and get a couple picks. Get back at it. Oh, beauty. Look at her. Awesome, man, so much fun. Tell you what, one thing we've done a really good job of this week is boat communication you know it's such an important piece of the puzzle and you know constantly what we're doing is just bouncing ideas off each other and you know what should I throw what color where should we go watching our moons um, you know so staying positive boat communication and we're reaping the rewards baby a little bit of slime time awesome let's get her back she gone. She gone. <laughs> Lime time, baby. You're right on, baby. Let's get another one. <laughs> That's awesome. That's what it is. Those are the musky gods <laughs> yeah. illuminating off my bald head. Real. Right, pliers. Fish number two. Just move down to the second spot. <laughs> yeah, baby. Good call, bud. Boom. Fish number six, second of the morning. 
They are beat up, man. Post spawn, look at that one. I'll tell you what, I've used a lot of different, pretty much every glider you could possibly name, and I think I just found my new favorite. The Chaos Kodiak Round Nose, man. It's, it's heavy, it's a great bait, and it is working. <laughs> We're having a lot of fun. Awesome. Get some stills. Let's get her back. Yeah, baby. This is my favorite body of water of all time. <laughs> <laughs> Number one is Merritt Reservoir. With our fifth day ahead of us and hopefully all of the bad juju in our rearview mirror, we would start where we left off from the day before. A couple legals and two other monster walleyes, we found out that these Merritt Lake walleyes, well, they love musky baits as well. Fish, fish! Oh my God. Sean, get the net. Frickin' walleye. Yeah, we are. Get net. There's dinner. Dinner, baby. Again. And we just ran out. <laughs> that was my first cast <laughs> after catching that. Oh, how much fun, man. Mike, great job finding this place, dude. This is a world-class walleye fishery, too. We've seen a lot of guys, walleye guys on the musky spots, pulling out giants. And we got that big one, too. So great fishery all around. Walleyes, muskies, okay. bass, catfish. Merritt Reservoir, Nebraska is where it's at, man. I'm having a lot of fun. <laughs> We are having a blast here in Nebraska. You know, I, I just got to make this quick because we want to keep fishing here, but this none of this would have happened if a gentleman, and I don't know who it is, and I'm going to look it up, sent me a uh, on Facebook a message with just three words. That was it. That was enough to really capture my attention and go, what is this Nebraska thing? And I just started researching it, calling people, called out the DNR out here. Uh, Daryl Bauer, great contact guys, and we're going to list his information. They want people out here. They've stuck a lot of money into this resource, and they want people to come out here and enjoy it. So we want to definitely tip our hats to Daryl um, for you know meeting with us talking to us about the reservoir we learned a lot from that conversation you know knowledge is king no matter what you do put the legwork in do the research don't be afraid to call local bait shops everybody anybody you can to get info on the information you know how many guys we've talked to here in Nebraska since we've been here and guess what they steered us in the right direction back to work Great. This is fun. So what time is the moon then? Oh, we got moon, moon underfoot at 2 o'clock. Alright. So we're going to go hit the sunken island, the yeah. island, and then we're going to go into the board and go hit that day where we hit the other. Two fish, one bait, a big one. And then tomorrow come back here because oh, we yeah. know morning this was just on fire and we've got all these fish here. So, all right, let's do it, man. Make the move. long they've been talking about going up there and uh, they're doing it not this cat daddy no way I'd make it up about maybe 50 yards and say that's good enough for me but they're doing it they're almost to the top almost almost to the summit man it's pretty cool they've been talking all week about doing it and well here they are Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> well, here we are once again, booted off the lake. We've got, again, severe weather. There, our radar's lighting up and telling us to get, get off the water. We got lightning, we got thunder, got heavy winds. Um, the weather has just been really crazy on this trip. I mean, I don't even know what to say. You know, we got here and it was super cold front conditions and heavy rain and then it went really nice and now we've got more weather moving in. So, Great Plains fishing I guess, I don't know. We'll see, hopefully we'll be able to get out for at least an hour yet tonight. We're Day six, we had severe weather again last night. It, it, this has been an excellent trip, but the weather has really been something that's haunted us. Um, today, again, a change, cold front condition coming in. We're supposed to drop uh, 10, 15 degrees by this evening, so we're hoping that these fish will be triggered. We thought with the storms moving in, we had great action yesterday. Um, lots of fish again. I think we're at like 42 fish that we've seen, but we want that one big fish, the kicker fish. And we know that there's a bunch of fish on this stretch. That's what we're gonna do day six. Get that big kicker and uh, head on home to Wisconsin. But Nebraska's got it going on, man. I'll tell you that much. They got a lot to offer here. Big fishery, lots of fish. Um, we got to get at it. So let's get to work. This is the one, guys. Yeah! Gone! Yeah, oh, baby! Oh, yeah. oh, man. We have worked so hard. So many fish. All week we needed that kicker fish, baby. And we just got it. Oh! He really must be too dollars. Dude. Yeah! Dude. This is this oh, place, man. This place is six, man. Like the weather is just killing us. And Cold front. This is right here. This is it, baby. This is what we came we've out here for. We've seen multiple of these, and they just—they've either hit, and we've lost them at our feet, or they just get spooked and just don't want nothing to do with us. And this is why we came to Nebraska, dude. Look at that. Big. Yeah, <laughs> baby. Whoa! 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 Mike, great job Good finding buddy. this place, man. You know, new sponsor of ours for Keys Outdoors is Wreck and Rack, and they've got an ultimate solution for your bump board. You're always moving your bump board all over the place, but this is really a convenient situation. It goes on a track or rail system, and we're gonna use it right now to bump this fish. The board is marine grade plastic it will not warp it will not mold it will not deteriorate in the sun um, it's a great product by Wreck and Rack check them out and this is the first time we get to use it this year we just got them in so uh, this is pretty convenient man and we're gonna get it slimed up right now oh we got the big girl oh yeah baby look at that fish Forty-four. She's bumping there. Forty. Forty-four, right on that. Boom! But look at her girth, man. Look, look at how the girth thick she on is. that thing. I tell you what, this place is special, man. Mike, hey, thanks for the invite, man. This has been—that's what Keys Outdoors is all about. Pioneering new bites, 
off the beaten path and what an adventure this week has been. It really has, you know, this is, like I said, this whole thing was done on three words a guy sent me, Merritt Lake Reservoir. That was it. <laughs> and it piqued my curiosity, but let's get this girl back. What a beautiful, beautiful fish, man. Girthy fish. It's a, such a great fishery here. Total of what? Seven fish. Seven fish. Seven fish. We lost what? Twelve, and we've seen forty-four. All right. I mean, that's that's amazing. Let's get her back. All right, so this is the lure that, what, it's got six, six fish five. On, five, five fish on. Five fish on right here. Ryan is not using it anymore. <laughs> yeah, he's not he, he's, he actually has to sit down <laughs> for the rest of the trip because he's been on fire. So it's you and me, buddy, who gets that bait. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors. Ready? <laughs> you got it. Dang. I was going to do scissors too, but you got it. Fish! Got the motor off. Another nice one. You ready, Shawnee? Get in there, sweetheart. Yeah, <laughs> baby, in the bag. <laughs> on the new swimming invader. That's what I'm talking about. Fish number eight, boys. Horseshoe continues. <laughs> <laughs> you switched up from the glide? I've been looking at that uh, swimming, inv swimming invader in the wrecking rack the whole time I've been gliding and threw it out. I think that was my second cast. <laughs> I don't know. It's just, uh, I'm having good luck this week. Awesome. First fish on that new bait. She ate it. Swimming dog. Swimming dog. Swimming invader. The main forage out here is alewife. And they're actually spawning right now, so even that glider I was throwing, you know, kind of match the hatch and match the hatch, baby, everywhere you go. Twitch, 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 twitch. Six fish for me. Wow, man, this has been a trip of a lifetime for me, man. Um, you know, I think one thing really want to point out is, you know, 15 states for you catching muskies. I think that needs to be spoken to. I don't think there's many, if any, musky anglers in the country that have done that. So congratulations well, thank you, on that and thank you, you know, on behalf of myself and probably a lot of people out there for everything that you've done for ah, the sport. Dude, it's uh, I'm privileged to be able to do this. Meet new people and met you guys a couple years yep. ago and uh, it's just a blast. It's a lot of fun, man. It's a lot of fun. A lot of, fun. A lot of work, your but a lot of your, fun. Your passion is infectious. Let's get her back. Let's get another one. Let's get her in. Good job, buddy. Guys, this is the new 
last year uh, swimming invader from musky innovations uh, two baits combined in one you can twitch it you can cast it troll it uh, one of the key features on it uh, you got this magnet here which keeps the hook hooks from tangling here puts it in a better position for better hookup ratios um, and it's just a fantastic bait you know chose this one just because it's uh, working at real shallow in the weeds matching the hatch with the alewives comes in a variety of different colors highly recommended oh yeah look at how pretty that fish is some of the most gorgeous fish nebraska got it going on the spot that we're fishing we got deep water adjacent up to like 30 feet comes up to about a five foot little mid lake island covered with weeds a deep drop up on the other side and then a deep point with weeds right there so one other cool thing about this body of water is there are so many good looking musky spots you know that you couldn't write it up any better so let's get her back get another one it's number nine boys yeah All I can say is what a trip and an excellent way to start out our year. Like I said, Nebraska has it going on. Their muskies program, thanks to Daryl Bauer of the Fisheries Outreach Program of Nebraska Game and Parks Commission, what they have done with their muskies fishery is truly quite impressive. And we will most definitely be back to hunt the sand country of Nebraska. Make sure you check out all of our shows on our YouTube channel and KOTV. Until next week, I'm Mike Keys. I don't know where we're going to be, but I do guarantee you this, it will be an adventure. Keys Outdoors Musky Hunting Adventures has been brought to you by Great Clubs, Quick Trip, The Boat Center, Skeeter Boats, Yamaha, as well as other sponsors that help make Keys Outdoors successful. Please support their services, products, and gear, as well as their beer. And make sure that you check out Keys Outdoors on our YouTube channel, as well as our KOTV channel.com.